We'll take a look at the packaging before opening it up. You've got this nice picture on the very front that shows the light itself with that nice fire and smoke from the jetpack there. Star Wars, makes sense. Then you've got a few different kind of close-up shots here. You know, you've got his jetpack there, the Stormtrooper helmet, which is actually the switch for the light and then a kind of moodier picture of what it looks like. And then on this side, Star Wars again, but there's a little bit of pattern. So opening up the box, you can see blaster peeking through. We'll just open up this. So there's not a whole lot of packing material, which I'm kind of surprised about. Um, hopefully that means that it's pretty sturdy and there won't be any damage in transit. Looks like there might be some screws there to keep it in place. So I will have to go and get a screwdriver and be right back. Just make sure that you have a little tiny Phillips screwdriver so you can get the light unattached to the box that it comes with. So this light, as you can see, it comes with a cord here that just plugs into a USB brick. I'm sure you have plenty of those just lying around. And I'll plug it in in just a second. It looks like a pretty, pretty long cord, which is great. You know, you never know where you're, you want to plug it in and if you have enough room. So let's take it out of here. All right. This looks really cool. It's kind of like a little bit more of like a, you know, it's obviously like action figure, but I feel like it's a little bit more of like a cartoonish kind of version. Not that that's a bad thing. Um, I really like the paint details here. You know, it's obviously doesn't have like the symbol that's there or, you know, the mythosaur skull, which that could have been a little bit better, but I do like the paint quality. It looks like it's like really well done there. You know, obviously, you know, you have like the molded details here. Let's see, let's take a look here. You've got a blaster, one stormtrooper helmet and another, and this is actually the um, knob there that will turn the light on and it's got three different settings. We'll show you that in a second. Let's see. Got the jetpack here going all the way down and then the light itself is in here. So I'll go ahead and I will get this plugged in and we'll see what it looks like. So I turned off the lights and this is what it looks like. Fully glowing, it's on 100% power right now. You've got these kind of like pockets where it's a little bit more vibrant kind of like reddish around here and a little bit more orange here and then as you get closer to the jetpack itself obviously you know it's a little bit more diffuse there I love the way it looks it looks very like kind of like realistic um obviously it's molded plastic you know you kind of got the seam here which isn't like my favorite but you know it is what it is it's plastic um but you know, it really looks like Boba is taking off in flight from, you know, knocking out some stormtroopers here. I think this would be really cool on any Boba Fett fan's desk or, you know, a nightstand, especially if there's a kid who may need a nightlight. I think it gives the perfect amount of glow, but it won't be too overwhelming. It's more of like a decor light, but it looks really cool. So let me show you what it looks like at 50%. So it kind of turns a little bit more like yellowy there. There's still a little bit of reddish orange, but a little bit more yellow. And then here's 10%. And this one, it's honestly, you know, it shows up a little bit more like yellow at the light on camera, but um, in real life, it's just more like kind of white. Like it looks like a cloud of, you know, steam or smoke coming out of there, but Really cool, here's what it looks like in the dark when you just turn off the lights and, you know, that's pretty standard.
All right, so now that we've unboxed and taken a closer look at this Boba Fett diorama light from Paladone, I'll give you a few of my final thoughts. So overall, I think this is a really cool decor piece, a really cool kind of statue that incorporates kind of a functionality with the lighting. Obviously, it's not going to be lighting up an entire room, but it's mainly just there to kind of give a little bit of a soft glow. Obviously, you can change the settings. I love that there are three different settings with kind of different colors and different amounts of brightness. And the fact that you change the settings using this Stormtrooper helmet, I mean, that's so cool. Like, you just turn it and it turns off and turns all the way back on. I think that's a really cool detail that really adds to the coolness of this piece. You know, it could have had just a light switch or, you know, any sort of regular switch, but they incorporated it into an actual piece of decor. So I think that's a really great point about it. Um, I love the kind of movement within the piece. I think that, you know, you really see the action there with Boba Fett with his jetpack. Um, obviously, he's got his blaster in hand. And I think that that makes it a really special kind of piece. Um, one thing that I do wish that would have had is a little bit more detail, you know, maybe if it would have had, you know, some more paint on the blaster or the, um, Boba Fett crest like on his chest armor or the mythosaur skull. Um, I think that would have really taken this piece over the top, but I know that obviously adding those other details will increase the price point. So um, I really like it as it is, but if you really have an issue with it, you can like paint it yourself, add your own decals. I think that would be a really fun project. So all in all, I really like this. Um, I think, again, it could have had a little bit more detail, so I'll probably give it a four out of five stars. But I do think that if you're looking for, you know, a nightlight for a kid who's obsessed with Boba Fett, or if you're looking for just a statement piece for your desk at work or at home, I think this is a great addition to anybody's collection. So you can find this on Zavi for $54.99. Um, again, thank you so much to Zavi for sponsoring this review and for sending over this review copy so that I could take a look and give my honest feedback. And thank all of you for being here and watching this. Um, if you want to go pick this up, head over to Zavi and feel free to like, comment um, on this video, follow us all over social media, and I hope you all have a great rest of your day. Bye!